Hi, I'm Jamie from Albert Group Pools and Patios, and today I'd like to talk to you about salt systems, who they're good for, who they may not be so good for, and why I think they're great. Okay, we're back. Salt chlorine generators. Everybody's talking about them. A lot of people have some pretty strong opinions why they like them, why they don't like them. If you want to just cut to the chase, for me, I build fiberglass pools. They work tremendously well with fiberglass pools. I build pools in the Northeast. They work tremendously well in the Northeast. So that's where you get into who they may be good for, who they may not be good for. Let's start off with what is it? So it's a salt chlorine generator. This is the cell right here. This one's made by Pentair. They come in all different brands. You don't have to buy a Pentair one. You could buy any brand you like. The way I explain a salt chlorine generator and a salt water pool is all about what you're not getting versus what you're getting, right? So you're getting the same chlorine that you would get if you went to the store and bought chlorine. What you're not getting is all the chemicals that they put in the chlorine to stabilize the chlorine for transport. If we could swim in less chemicals, we want to swim in less chemicals. It's better for us, it's better for our pets, you name it. Less chemicals equals better. So how does the salt chlorine generator work? It's pretty simple. There's metal plates in here. There's an electric charge between these plates. The salty water passes through them and through the process of electrolysis, we're turning that salty water into chlorinated water. Um, there's a lot of chemistry behind it and what the different byproducts are, but the important thing to remember, salty water goes in, chlorinated water comes out. The chlorinated water goes into the pool, does its job, combines back with the sodium part of the sodium chloride, becomes salt again, goes back through the cell again, becomes chlorine again. So it's this constant circle of life happening where you're regenerating the chlorine. So you're not really adding salt to the pool very often. Salt only leaves the pool a couple different ways. Big giant splashes, some water comes out, you're gonna lose a little tiny bit of salt. Where you're gonna lose the most of your salt is when you have a giant rainstorm and you've gotta pump down some of the water on your pool, you're gonna lose some salt then. After a while, you'll notice that the, on the salt cell, every manufacturer has their own way of telling you this, there'll be either a red light or something will, will blink. You're gonna add more salt to the pool and it's very simple. It's a bag of salt dumped into the pool. Doesn't go in the skimmer, doesn't go anywhere fancy, just goes right in the pool. I start off at a 40 or 50 pound bag at a time, dump it in, wait 24 hours, look at the cell again, see if that light went off. If it did, you're good to go until that happens again. Maybe twice a year you're putting salt in in the Northeast, right? So when it comes to a salt water pool or salt chlorine generator or salt, you know, salt system on a pool, who is it good for and who is it not good for? Well, I can tell you right away who it's not good for. If you have a concrete pool or if you have a, uh, to a lesser degree, a vinyl liner pool, it's probably not so good for you. Most concrete pools, the surface inside is not compatible with salt. It's just like uh, having a walkway and they tell you never put salt on your walkway. It's the same thing, your concrete and salt don't mix. We all know that. Vinyl liner pools traditionally have a lot of metal parts in them, whether it's the track at the top, the steel walls behind it, the salt eats that stuff up you're gonna be into repairs sooner rather than later. In some parts of the country, the water out of the tap has a little bit more hardness to it, a little more calcium hardness to it than it does here in New York. So people in those areas tend to not really like salt either because it's a constant little battle to balance your water. Here, we have very low hardness in our water. Typically, it's not an issue. So. We have a lot of pools out there, almost all of them are salt water and really no issues. Um, one of the biggest maintenance things to do on a salt system is to clean the cell. If you have a concrete pool versus a fiberglass pool, you're adding a little bit of calcium into the water so that you're not destroying your shell. There's a thing called the saturation index and there's, there's a lot to it, but basically you're depositing calcium on the shell rather than stealing calcium from the shell because that would just destroy the shell. Well, when you deposit calcium on the shell, guess what? You're also depositing it here in a salt cell. You're gonna have to take this apart and acid wash it. On fiberglass pools, we're really not, we don't have a high calcium level in the pool. We're not depositing calcium here. The thing is gonna say to clean it. You're gonna open it up, look at it. 
they're going to be sparkling clean, you're going to put it back together and done. After a couple times of that, you're not even going to open it up anymore. Okay, so another reason I really like salt systems on a pool is because you're constantly putting chlorine in the pool. Typically, um, if you can imagine like a little kind of a, you know, a graph here, when you measure your chlorine, you've measured it, measured it, measured it, you down low, you add some chlorine, you spike it up, you measure it again, you down low, you add some more, and you spike it up. So you kind of got this wave going. With a salt chlorine generator, you're outputting a constant amount of chlorine the entire time. So in that respect, you don't have kind of like these peaks and valleys that are associated with a typical chlorine pool. You just have the right amount of chlorine all the time. I have no proof, but I suspect that's why our saltwater pools always look just a little cleaner because nothing gets a chance to start growing in it. You just have the right amount of chlorine. You never have that low spot and the, the water is always perfect. If you want a pool with basically nothing to do, you want to just come home and you want to swim, I'll be honest, you want a fiberglass pool, you want a salt chlorine generator, maybe a robot to throw in it, and cartridge filters, which we'll talk about another day. If you'd like to know more, please feel free to give us a call. We specialize pools here in the Northeast. We work in Westchester, Dutchess, Putnam, Orange, Ulster, and Sullivan counties. Um, we'd be happy to build a pool for you, and thanks for watching. If you'd like to see our latest video, you can click up here. And if you'd like to see some of our videos where people are talking about their experience working with us, you can click over here.